All right, where were we in Elden Ring? I, uh, oh, let me adjust my microphone. I remember roughly where we were. We were trying to explore the Rena's Rise area here beyond, where the hell are we? Karen and Castle? Caria Manor, AKA Handland. I, uh, I remember asking my friend Chris the other day, I asked him where the NPCs were in the Lurnia Lake region, because I haven't found them yet. And he said that they were up here, so. We have not uh, forgotten the NPCs. We will hopefully find them soon up here at the Three Sisters area. Hold on, I gotta alt tab and close this window. Oh God, every time, man. Game is very sensitive. <laughs> so in theory, there should be some NPCs up here. There's a dragon right over there, like a crystal dragon. We might have to kill the dragon. I don't know how to open these doors. Because up here, it just says, like, you can't get in, right? Blocked shut for now. Either there's um, some turtles around, or we've got to go kill a dragon. So I'm kind of just of the opinion that maybe we just go kill this freaking dragon. It's right there. I have a hand ballista. Surely I can just, like, shoot it or run past it. I don't know. Maybe we can stealth past it. Magic doors open with magic. Damn it, if, if only I was a magic man. What the hell is this? <laughs> if only I was a magic man. I see you, dragon. You are a giant crystal dragon. I, I wish that you weren't here, but I want to go to this castle. Well, this rise. What the heck? What is a rise? Other than, you know, a tower. <clears throat> is a rise something in particular? Like... A rise is, a, is a, a tower with an external staircase leading 270 degrees around the external of it. Like, what is what is a rise? <laughs> he was trying to do the, the spell combo, I think. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just run it. Actually, let's um hoof it. I don't really want to fight the dragon, admittedly. <laughs> At least not right now. I would rather just run. Ronnie's rise, hello. Well, wolves. You know there's wolves. If only I had a friend. If only you had a wolf. Okay, so we can actually get in here. The wolf does not seem to care. Dude, look at that dragon. It's either a crystal dragon or like a poison dragon or something. Oh. You're pathetic. Glow bug. I hear like a squeak. <laughs> like a small animal in the distance. Okay, there's a bonfire. I'm I'm happy to see it. Lost Grace discovered. What's up here? Is this where friends are located? I didn't mean to step on this, and yet I did. I thought I was so clever. I thought, for once, we're gonna have a... a elevator that has... like, a secret underneath it? Unfortunately, no. Dude, every time I play this game, I look at my health bar and I'm like, wow, I don't have a lot of health. I look at screenshots of other people playing, I watch my friend Chris play, and they have health like halfway across the screen. One of these days I might in fact have to actually like put points into Vigor. <laughs> but that day is not today. Also, where are my blood echoes? I guess we don't, we never died? I guess we've never died. Please get off. I mean, to be fair, this would be a good spot just to, like, ballista the, uh, the dragon. <gasps> it's a person! Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? 
I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No particular reason. So this is Rena. First of all, she has four hands. Everyone, what, what is it with this game in fingers and hands? Um, but she gave us the sorcery, not sorcery, the, uh, the but the magic to summon. This was in the like first. Nice. This was in the first area with the first um, merchant. No reason in particular, thou claimest. Intriguing. <clears throat> then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? So I, I have no idea what she's talking about. <clears throat> I, I think that there are different, like, NPC quests you can take in this game. I don't know if taking any quests block out blocks out other content, but I will absolutely serve Ronnie the Witch because why not? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good work. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. I was wondering what happened to Blade. He said that he would talk to me later, but we haven't actually been able to find him later. And we've already found E.G. Speak with the three who are with thou needs not. It hath been a path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go speak to the three. So I'm curious. They say she says speak to them below. I wonder if they're at the base of this tower or where E.G. was, where his blacksmith um, shop was set up. We'll see. We'll figure it out. There is a phantom down there now. Very interesting. <laughs> Zuvraggy says the amount of content blocking from different quests is pretty minimal. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can, and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give all together. Mm, they all seem to love Lady Rani a little too much. But um, also we've seen Nokron, or Nokron. I can tell you exactly where it is. It's right, um, right here. Abandoned Merchant. Um, right up here was Nokron, the Eternal City. City. We fought a, like, half-torso dragon warrior or something. <clears throat> hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. Also, why are they ghosts? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. 
The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below, see if I can't Don't keep me waiting. I mean, we know exactly where that is. We've already seen him. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay me. Should you wish Come and pay me a visit. Well, here's a question. Is it to the left or to the right? Because there's a dragon in the middle of the two towers. <laughs> We'll try the one on the right, because the one on the left was locked. That's like an invisible wall. Pardon? Is this a, a literal invisible wall? I also cannot attack? <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I'm locked in. Am I getting invaded or something? Hold on. Cannot travel to a site of grace right now. Either I'm being invaded or I have to talk to someone else or maybe go up to Ronnie again and be like, Hey, can you let me out? L late lady. This is highly un unusual, but I, I imagine that it's because they're here and when you talk to Ronnie, it removes the ghosts. It's very strange. <clears throat> it is a, vi a, a little bit like a telephone. <laughs> the fact that they are ghosts. I imagine, I'm imagining like the um, sorceresses from The Witcher, how they have their... I forget what the device is called. They have their freaking three orb candlestick set up that just allows them to talk to other sorceresses at range. It's kind of like one of those. All right, well, let's uh, talk to you. Can I, can I leave now? Ah, uh, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon enter my... And it will be some time. I have high hopes for thee. Okay. I Who's Doll's body? That's my, my question. So are they gone now? <clears throat> Vernacula says FaceTime is only getting better. <laughs> I think they're gone. Yeah, so they're gone now, which means I can leave. Okay. I understand. Also, the wolves are back. All right, so I'm gonna go to this tower real quick because I don't want to really f go fight that dragon. So if I can, I would love to just bypass that dragon for now. Look, we're gonna fight the dragon eventually. Just, you know, you can give me a minute. Give me a hot minute. Wow, we actually did take fall damage, huh? <clears throat> so it's, this is his tower. Saluvius' so rise. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Administer a potion, huh? All right. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. <clears throat> Saluvius's potion. Sorry, I just took a drink. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. 
I expect glad tidings, and soon. Tidings and soon. I have no time for the only thing I will hear from you. Are we under? I have enough. This guy is a bit of a jerk, at least to me. You could say like thank you or something. Um, well, let's check out your your rise. Easy quest is easy, says Fredacula. I don't remember. I don't know who this person is. I maybe I haven't met them yet, or if I have, I just don't remember the name. But uh, we'll explore, see what's going on. You know, it's to be expected, I suppose. Administer a potion, huh? Oh, hello. I was not paying attention. We got the black black wolf mask. Wolf! It's actually the uh the the hat of Oh, I got to try it. It's the hat of uh Blyde, right? Relic of an assassin who assumed the guise of Ronnie the Witch's loyal shadow. The likeness is striking. A mark fashioned after the head of a black wolf or a mask fashioned. I could be I could turn in myself into a wolf man lady. <laughs> it's pretty good. Although it doesn't give you um the endurance that this one does, and I, I kinda like the endurance that we get out of this mask. <clears throat> Abe not remember a name shocking. Hey now, hey, quit it. Quit it, guys. You're making fun of me. Okay, well. Find a, a a person to give them a, to force feed them a potion, I guess. See if there's any any more items over here. I guess I I should look. Read message. Likely message. If I remember correctly, this is a little bit of a not a spoiler, but a, a spoiler for me. My friend Chris said that this guy had a basement, I think. So I'm, I'm looking around and I am trying to find like another another entrance in case there is uh, something else here, but I'm not seeing anything. So maybe there is just a, a secret wall or a door I haven't seen or something. Whatever. You are kind of a jerk though. I have no time for that. The only I have no time for idle chit chat, you piece of garbage. Yeah, Saluvius here does uh he just thinks a little bit too highly of himself. So I think I think I just have to show him that, you know, you should you should really give people a little bit more respect. You know, also you probably don't want to have so many crystals just lying around in, in fragile boxes. I mean, oh, sorry about the books, by the way. I hope you, I hope you didn't need any of these lights for like your research. Uh, I, what do, you, what would you say you do around here? What would you say you do around here? I don't know. All right. Well, where are we? <laughs> so we have Saluvius, uh, Pitya, the Carrion servant. We know them. Ronnie was up here, and then in theory. EG is right here, and we can probably just teleport straight to EG, or we could do the a long walk, or we could explore a little bit. <clears throat> like there is this whole like you know ruins, and there might be something here worth exploring. Like you know these blue lines that are coming up out of the mist. I don't know who's casting magic, but you know someone is. So that's down there. I think we've been down there before. Hit him with link experience and break his pots. Done and done. Well, a lot a lot of times these ruins do have like underground areas and hidden passages and whatnot. I don't really see too much going on here. I, I hear you. You know, actually, I already got you, so there's no reason to jump down there just to get you again. Sorry for the, like, lag, but the game is a little, a little intense sometimes. <laughs> At least on my computer it is. Um, the heck? Well, I don't actually see anything. 
Like, I don't see anything to explore. And we've already explored his rise, so I suppose we'll go see EG and see what's going on there. Actually, you know what we should do? We should look at the third tower, because we've seen two of them so far. And uh, I don't know what the third one's going to have, but we might as well take a look at it. It may have opened, I, I guess is what I should say, because it wasn't open previously. Just, you know, be careful of the whole dragon thing. I would like to avoid the dragon. We'll fight him later. I'm just taking some quick, quick peeks at what's going on around here. And then, uh, if this is still closed, we'll go to the uh, to Iggy and t see what he's doing. Because we know exactly where Necron is, Nokron. We've already cleansed that, well not cleansed, but we've already done the whole lower area, I think. I could kind of see inside there for a second. Oh, come on! Move the camera! Like, you see that? Kind of see in there. Think maybe there's a, a back entrance to this tower. Maybe not a back entrance, but hey, you know what? There is a skull. Imp statue. Um, I didn't see an imp statue. Maybe that. Maybe there was one next to it. it. It says you can't enter for now. So that makes me think that maybe you could do something here later. Blocked shut for now. Like I, I don't see an imp statue. So this is a, it, it looks like the same wall, but it's not the same fog wall, because, you know, no imps. Uh, and I don't think you can jump up there, so we just have to, I don't know, figure out why this is open. Maybe Ronnie will open it up later. That's, that's my guess. Alright, you know what? Iggy, we're gonna talk to you. And then if, if Blade is not here, we will go down to the Mistwood and go down the elevator, because that should be where Blade is. He said that he was going to be be over there. <clears throat> About Blade. Blade. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella. Well, it has a twin, known as Nokron, the other eternal city. After years of expeditions, we've determined the location of Nokron by going underground through the well in the mistwood of Limbrave. You can see Nokron up above, only we failed to find a path leading to the city. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped, to be honest. I'm not sure where to go from here. I mean, that makes sense, because we have also seen a path up there, but are stumped. Yeah, we can get Hook Claws 15? You can get 16, huh? So you can just scale your weapons, like, forever? <laughs> uh, keep upgrading my seal as well. Until Oh, I'm out of money. Interesting. Uh, until I can get a additional seal that might be a little bit better, just in case I want to actually use magic. Um, we'll, we'll keep leveling this one up. Something. On the off chance I, I do magic. So strengthen... Oh, I can... Oh, I can't upgrade that. I can upgrade this one. So we need Smithing Stone 5. I can buy 4, but not 5s. 
That's all you have. All right, fair enough. So I don't see Blade. He's not around. Blide. Blythe. Whatever his freaking name is. Uh, so let's go down to the Mistwood. Down to the Mistwood. Actually, really quickly. Um, <clears throat> we should check out Sorceress Selene. Who are you? You're the hunter of the bloody fingers. Yeah, let's check out Sorceress Selene. Um, I think maybe I have a scroll for her. Why not fight the dragons? Aren't you the dragonborn, says Verdacula. Da -da -dun, da -da. I don't have a my my thum though. Unfortunately, I can't shout. There you are. Shall we commence the You have nothing. Alright, see you later. Alright. Miss what it is, I suppose. Um Nomadic Merchant and the River Well. Oh do Fort Height! I never did Fort Height. What well, or rather I did it once and we haven't gone back because the Fort Height guy was there, right? Didn't, wasn't there like a Fort Height guy? <laughs> did I did I do that quest? <laughs> I think I did that quest. Did I do that quest? I think I did that quest. Hold on. I'm gonna check out Fort Height real quick. I can't remember if I talked to that NPC. I, I know that he exists if I haven't done him. You know, after watching people play this game and then playing it yourself, sometimes I do kind of get a little bit um, forgetful about what I've done and what I haven't done. But I'm pretty sure there's a Fort Height guy here. Hey. We are also hilariously over leveled for this place. As a result, this isn't going to be too much of a problem. But if we go up here, Ziragi says, can you see Blight on the under underground map? That's a very good question. I will look in a second. <clears throat> You, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must begin my search for a true... And you're looking at her. <laughs> you're looking at him. Come on, let, let it be me. Well, there's nothing here. Kenneth Height is a piece of garbage. Uh, all right. Why are there enemies in his fort like here though? You know, like if there's people in his fort, why, why are they not attacking him? I guess, do the people in this, do the enemies in this game, do the, the living beings that exist, do they only like try to kill Tarnished? How do they know if I'm a Tarnished? Do they have like a Tarnished radar? Is this like a Gadar, but for Tarnished? <laughs> I don't know, but I hate it. Um, so that's the merchant. I think we've been there before, but we'll check it out. Dernunu asks if I still have to go back to the starting area with the stone keys. I definitely do. I have not completed that yet. How nice these. <clears throat> One of these days we will complete it though. Attempts invasion of another player's world. We should do these one of, the, one of these days. I have three of them. Meat, 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 lily, arrow, axe, smithing stone level one. I don't know. Not like there's anything else here that I, I really wanna purchase. And then there's also, um, you know, there's markings on the map that I can't see, so I'm just gonna do this and then get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Beautiful. All right, let's um north. Nope, <laughs> not this way. <laughs> let's head on out to that river well. Not this way. 
Hey, hey, sir, sir, how, how do I go up? Get up, sir, sir. Where's the river well, sir? Isn't there like an erd tree around here, sir, sir? Okay, <clears throat> so it's just north of this. Yeah, here it is. So Blythe might be around here somewhere. Let's pull the lever. And then jump in the well. And also, see if Blythe is on the map. He's not, it's just the merchant. <clears throat> Art of Bob Rich says he's recruiting demi-humans. Remember he gave that speech about golden order? No, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, we we do need to do the Church of Dragon communion again because we have more dragon hearts. Um, Knight Bernal at the War Master Shack. The Love Shack, baby. Finger Reader Crone. A dead body is right there. Who are you? M Muriel. Preceptor. Ronnie. Did it really take this long for this to come up or was the map paused? Or does the map pause? I don't think the map pauses it. Alright. We'll take the, um, the long elevator ride down as opposed to to teleporting down, just so maybe we can find this, this Blythe. Diminutive Jerry welcome, says, I went to bed with the stream on and came back today to see it already on Lamau. Like, yesterday you went to bed <laughs> with the stream on? <laughs> I do stream, you know, multiple days in a row sometimes. So I think that's Nokron up there. Why is this elevator so bright? Good time for a coffee. All right. Is he on the map yet? He is not on the map yet. I mean, I'll, I'll run through this place, I think. Looking for Blyde. Crazy how deep this goes. It does go real freaking deep, doesn't it? Surely he's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Good opportunity to grab more mushrooms, too. This, I think, was where we got the map. We can use our horse here. I don't really want to run through too quickly because I don't know where he is and I don't want to skip him, but if he's not here, he's probably at the next bonfire. Or, you know what? There's another elevator. He's probably at that elevator. Hi, guys. What's up? Hello. Friends? Yep. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Beep, beep. Me, me. Now, don't fall here. So he's probably up here, I would imagine. And while we're waiting for the elevator, like, you might as well do a little bit of, you know, this. Oh, come on. You, we wouldn't let me hit you, hit you when you were under the water. I wonder if um, these claws would be v uh, very effective against these enemies. If I remember correctly, they were not, though. These enemies you want to have a, a big, big honking sword for, I think. You hear that? I hear that. You think maybe you can jump off of this elevator as it goes up? Because I think I hear something. No, you cannot jump off of this elevator as it goes up. 
It's also not that long of an elevator, is it? All right, Blyde, sir, friend, friend. Speak, friend, and enter. Speak, friend, and Blyde. Well, I don't see El Blido yet. Whoops, that was a little awkward camera circling. <clears throat> well, maybe he's up at this bonfire, because this is the one that, that starts at this area. I don't see him. I'm in combat, so I can't open the map. Maybe he's up here. You know, he could also be up at the, the Nokron City area where we fought that boss, I don't know. Or maybe there's another way to get down here, and once we find the other way to get down here, we can actually see where he is, because he's not here on the map at all. There's a finger reader. Nomadic merchant. He wasn't at the river well. I, I don't remember him being at the river, river well. Merchant. War master. You know, maybe we just uh, won't see Blight at all. Not for a while, anyways. Maybe we have to have to find him later, cause he ain't here. Let's um, let's check that teleporter though and see if he's up there, cause that that, that would be where he would be, maybe. <clears throat> Fredaculus says, do you want to know if you passed him? I just want to find him. <laughs> Ideally on my own merits, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see. If I passed him, you can just say, I pa you passed him, he's right there. That's, that's not a spoiler, if I ran by him and didn't see him. <laughs> a spoiler would be, you only see him when you um, uncover the, the, the bonfire of the kiln of the first flame, and then when you get the f first flame kiln, then you have Blade come over here, and then he's like, hey, wait a minute, we have to actually, you know, complete our objectives here, and then, like, that that might be a little spoilery. Oh my god. If this, um, turns into a, a, a souls where we actually have Please. A first flame, that would be funny. <laughs> or a fire link bonfire shrine or something. But it would be cool if I could just like run into him and be like, oh, there he is. I found him. Yeah, the air guys do suck. Because right here, I think, is where it says you are in. Nokron Eternal City. But I don't see him. I think if you get anywhere near him, he'll show up on the map. Hmm. He's not there yet. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, there's another entrance to the river well. It's in it's in um Redland. We go right here. I forgot about this. Yeah, there's a there's a back entrance. He might be up in this general direction. <clears throat> and this is right behind all of the annoying enemies that shoot you with freaking arrows. So let's see if he's up at this entrance. Why is there a body here? Clarifying horn charm. Clarifying Horn Charm. Raises focus. Hocus Pocus. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. What does focus do? I don't know. <clears throat> Probably like resistance to magic or sleep or frenzy or something. Something stupid like that. Dude, we have to level up more. <laughs> yeah, Kaelid, there you go. I knew it was somewhere. Well, he's not here. But if he was somewhere, he could be have been here. And I would have felt like a freaking genius. 